buttermilk biscuits made with cream cheese and butter and topped with sugar and cinnamon. Need I say more? Sweet black Jesus, I need a moment alone. Are you kidding me? Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to Cooking with Sylv Mac. I'm your host, Sylv Mac, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some buttermilk, cinnamon, and sugar biscuits made with cream cheese and butter. Oh, this sounds fantastic. But first, let's get that glass of wine and let's get to cooking. I don't know about you, but I love searching the internet for recipes and I love looking at cooking shows. So I saw this cooking show and there was a woman on there that made some biscuits and she said that she adds buttermilk and cream cheese and butter to the biscuits and then she tops it with sugar and cinnamon and I thought, oh, I have got to find that recipe. So that's exactly what I did and I'm trying the recipe for the first time right now. So let's go over the dry ingredients and then I'll tell you the rest of the ingredients as well. For the dry ingredients, we've got three cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of bacon powder, one teaspoon of salt, a half of a teaspoon of bacon soda, and now we're going to mix those all together really well. So I just like to use a whisk and you just go in and sort of combine the dry ingredients. So now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that your butter and that your cream cheese is straight out of the refrigerator and very, very cold. So four tablespoons of uh, ice cold butter and four ounces of cream cheese. We're also going to use one and one fourth cup of buttermilk and another four tablespoons of butter that we're gonna use to melt later. And then some extra flour to spread out the dough on. And of course, some sugar and cinnamon so that we can sprinkle all that goodness on top. Okay, so um, now let's go on and add the four tablespoons of butter and also the uh, cream cheese. You wanna make sure that these are ice cold, like right out of the refrigerator. And we're going to chop them up in like little cubes. You want to try not to handle the butter that much because you don't want your hands to warm up the butter. We want it nice and cold. That is what makes biscuits nice and flaky when you've got the cold butter and then it melts as it cooks and it makes the biscuits flaky. So we've got now the cream cheese and the ice cold butter cut into cubes. Now we're going to combine it or cut it into our flour mixture. See how it looks kind of crumbly there? You want to get the butter into like little pea size. And that should be good. So next you want to stir in your buttermilk just until it's combined. The batter looks too dry. You can add a little bit more, a little bit more uh, buttermilk. So now we're gonna turn it out onto a nice floured surface. Get some flour on your hands. And you just wanna knead the dough until you You don't want to overwork it, because if you do, they won't be fluffy. You can roll it out, or you can just press it with your hands, but you want some nice, thick biscuits. You want some thick biscuits, so you want to make it about three quarters of an inch thick. If you don't have a biscuit cutter, that's fine. I'm just going to use a glass, dip it in some flour, and don't twist. If you twist, it closes off the biscuit and it does not allow them for the air to get in. So no twisting. All right, so you put them on a parchment lined baking sheet 
uh, not touching, like maybe an inch apart or so. And we're gonna bake these for nine minutes at 425 degrees. After nine minutes, then we're going to butter them and then sprinkle the uh, sugar and cinnamon on there and put them back in the oven for about another two to three minutes. So the biscuits have been in the oven now for nine minutes. Now let's pull them out and we're gonna put some butter on there and then sprinkle them with some sugar and cinnamon. So we'll top these with some nice butter. Back in the oven now for two to three minutes until they're nice and brown. Okay, so now I've got my biscuits out of the oven. Let's put a little butter on there. Let's first open it up and see what it looks. Oh, you see that smoke? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna put a little butter in there. They're so nice and fluffy. Put some butter on there, and I don't know about you, but I like a little honey on my, on my biscuits. Just a little bit, yeah. Mm. Y'all know what I'm about to say. Sweet black Jesus, I need a moment alone. Are you kidding me? The butter that's in there, the sugar and cinnamon on top that gives it a nice crunch. Oh, my goodness. Mm. The texture, phenomenal. Mm. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends, tell your relatives, so you too can do, mm. I need a moment alone because this food is so doggone good. Cheers, everybody. This is really good.